Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have lots for talk about shootings, dropout, scamming, and thief. Stay tuned for the full report. Blessings to our subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we are kicking off in St. Elizabeth. Double dropout in St. Elizabeth. So we are getting into the police report. Two men were shot and taken out on a house firebomb in Goshen, St. Elizabeth early this morning. The identities of the men have not yet been released. And of the St. Elizabeth Police Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto in confirming the incident said Detectives are now on the scene as well as the major investigation division, MID. Preliminary reports are that earlier, about 1 a.m., residents heard loud explosion and saw smoke coming from a house. The police were called and the bodies of two men were found with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. They were subsequently pronounced dropped out. Statistics from the police show that up to December 2nd, St. Elizabeth recorded a reduction in job outs with 29 people being taken out since the start of the year when compared to 38 for the corresponding period last year. Now, people, we'll move to Kingston where ex-cop turned cabbie gone down. So we'll get into the latest report. A taxi operator was shot and taken out in Kingston Eastern Police Division yesterday evening. He has been identified as Kenyel Wilson, an ex-member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force of a St. Catherine address. Information reaching the news media is that sometime after 7 p.m., Wilson was standing beside his motor car in Kensington Road when two armed men walked up to him and engaged in a brief conversation before shooting him. His licensed firearm was also stolen. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dropped out. Investigation are ongoing. Now, people, we are moved to Westmoreland. Body of a man found along a road in the parish. The body of a man was found Thursday along the Pullet Lane main road in Petersfield, Westmoreland. He has been identified as 33-year-old Duane Williams, otherwise called Monkey Man. The police say Mr. Williams was last seen alive by relative about 10 p.m. on Wednesday at Pullet Lane. Residents stumbled upon his body about 8.30 Thursday morning and summoned the police. On their arrival, the body of Mr. Williams was seen on his back with what appeared to be multiple stab wounds and chop up wounds to the upper body. A black shot was stuffed in the mouth. He was transported to Savlamar Public General Hospital where he was pronounced drop out. Now, people, we will move on. This time, people, to St. James. Two suspected lottery scammers arrested at airport in the parish. Members of the St. James Police Lottery Scam Task Force have arrested and charged two men who were reportedly found in possession of the United States credit cards and US $400 at Samsta International Airport. Charged with possession of access device are 27-year-old Iwin Fuller of Addington Kinloss and 32-year-old lifeguard Odin Larson of Jungle's Boat in Trelawney. It is reported that between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m., an operation was conducted at the airport 
where two men were reportedly seen acting in a suspicious manner. The police say the men were observed withdrawing money from an automated teller machine which dispenses U.S. currency only. The two were accosted and searched and were found in possession of U.S. credit cards bearing the names of people living overseas. They were arrested and charged. Now people will continue. Bike operator gone down in Westmoreland. So we'll get into the police report. A bike taxi operator was shot and taken out on another injured at Pullet Lane, Petersfield in Westmoreland last night. The deceased has been identified as 25-year-old Rickard Tarrington of Strawberry in Petersville in the parish. Reports from the police are that about 9 p.m., Tarrington and the other man were traveling on a motorcycle when upon reaching a section of the roadway, they were pounced upon by unknown assailants who opened gunfire at them. Tarrington sustained gunshot wounds to the upper body and the other man was shot in the shoulder. Both men were taken to the hospital where Tarrington was pronounced dropped out and the other man admitted in stable condition. Tarrington is the second person to be taken out in the parish in the hours. On Thursday morning, residents stumbled upon the body of 33-year-old Duane Williams, otherwise called Monkey Man, of Pullet Lane in the community. Reports from the police are that the body of multiple juke wounds. Now, people, we are move on. Last but not least, police search for a man who vandalized ABM in St. Anne. The police have confirmed that they are on the hunt for a man who vandalized an automated banking machine, ABM, in Brownstone, St. Anne, on Thursday evening. The man was seen on camera inside a National Commercial Bank building throwing a garbage bin at the ABM. A section of the bank door was also cracked as a result. It is not yet known if money was removed from the machine. The man, who is of slim build and light complexion, was clad in a grey and dark blue hooded jacket with moderate facial hair and slits in his eyebrows. The police are asking anyone with information that could assist them with identifying the man or his whereabouts to contact the Brownstone Police Station. So there you have it, people. Please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.